Hi, I'm Aaron, and today I'm gonna show you how I built my new shed ramp. Uh, I'm gonna show you everything I did step by step, how I built it, and why I built it the way that I did. It's really sturdy, and you could even say it's rock solid. I needed to build this new shed ramp because my old one was falling apart. There was tons of wood rot, nails coming loose, and a old ramp was developing an unsettling bounce. Let's get this out of here and build something better. So I decided to build a freestanding ramp rather than the typical ledger board design. Uh, I did that because my shed's not that far off the ground and there's just simply no room to install a ledger board. A ledger board design is where you bolt a piece of lumber to your shed floor joist. Then you attach stringers from the ledger to the ground. However, I chose not to do it this way because under all that metal is only a 2x4 end joist. And that 2x4 is half obstructed by the door. The doors on my shed have a panel design on them, so if I cut them, they're going to look disproportionate at best. No way I was going to do that. Here's what I did. I took an 8 foot long 2x6 and measured it out 48 inches. Then I cut my 2x6 apart to create two identical 48 inch boards. I marked the line splitting those 2x6s diagonally and then carefully ripped each one with my circular saw. This gave me four equal wedges that I would use as my ramp stringers. These ramp stringers will go from ground level to five and a half inches high over a four foot span. This will be a very comfortable slope for me and my riding lawnmower. I'd be able to easily reach this previously installed metal lip perfectly for the final board at five inches high. Now, if my shed was higher off the ground, I would have simply used larger two by materials, such as a two by eight, a two by 10, or even a two by 12. Next, I measure the width of the door opening. I mark up a 2x4 a couple inches shorter than the opening and then cut it to size. After this, I bring my 2x4 into the garage with my wedges. Now I'm going to turn my wedges over so I can build my ramp upside down. I also place a deck board under the 2x4 as a spacer. By using the deck board as a spacer, I'm going to be able to ensure that my 2x4 ramp header will slide easily under the shed joist. I then attach the outside wedges with three inch self-drilling deck screws, two screws in each of them, and then evenly align the middle wedges to attach them as well. Next, I cut another two by four and align it two thirds of the way down my ramp to give my ramp frame some additional structure. I then secure the board to the bottom of the ramp using deck screws. And I also used a speed square to keep everything perfectly aligned. Once it's all secured, I take my ramp skeleton out to the shed to make sure everything looks right, which it does. And while it's in position, I outline the ramp frame with some spray paint. Then I dig, 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 and dig some more until I'm about six inches or so from the surface. After that, I rake it all flat, followed by a good tamp down to really compact the soil. Now it's ready for gravel. And the gravel is going to provide excellent drainage to help the shed ramp last longer. With the gravel in place, I put my ramp frame down on the shed foundation border. Next, I level out the bottom of the frame. Now I'm gonna to need to be lower, so I mark the wedge stringers in order to create notches on the underside. Once marked, I take my circular saw and slice in between those marks with multiple passes. Then I use my hammer to knock out the resulting wood slivers. And if there's some wood left behind, I just cut and hammer until each notch is complete. Repeating the process on every wedge. Before I can place my frame into position, 
I need to remove some hardware cloth from around the shed base. If you're wondering why the hardware cloth, there was a groundhog taking up residence under my shed some years back. This hardware cloth was the result after the groundhog was evicted. So with the hardware cloth removed, I put my frame into position and uh, I made a mistake. I need to move the notches forward by an inch and a half or so, so the two x four header at the front of the ramp will slip under the shed joist. To correct this oversight, I remark and then rework the notches. Now that I'm finally able to slide the ramp into position, I check to make sure it's all level. Perfect. And since I have these random two by four scraps, I decided to just add some blocking. So I marked my wood scraps, cut them down and screwed them in position around the wooden foundation shed border. Why not? For the service of my ramp, I'm using treated deck boards. To make sure they were all exactly the same length, I set up a stop block so I wouldn't have to measure each one. I cut the first board down, put it in place, and it fits like a glove and the length is perfect. So I screwed it down with two inch deck screws, and then I quickly cut down seven more deck boards to the same length using the stop block. Before I add them, I fill in the rest of the ramp area with more gravel. Now, not only is the ramp super strong, critter resistant and got good drainage, it's anchored in really well. Nothing short of an F5 tornado is gonna move this thing. And before we move on, I give the gravel a good tamp down. Now that it's stone filled, I screw in all the remaining deck boards with two inch deck screws until the entirety of the ramp surface is complete. The treated wood was still a little wet, so I butted each board directly against one another, knowing that spaces are gonna develop between the boards as they dry out. And as I installed each deck board, I used a small spacer to keep the overhang from the surface of the frame consistent and looking great. Because I prefer the look of grass, I backfill the ramp border with an inch or so of dirt over the gravel. After that, I removed any excess soil with my wheelbarrow. Next, I take the hardware cloth and I clean it up a little bit and then hammer it to the side of the ramp with some large galvanized staples to make sure no critters can get under the ramp or, or around it into the underneath of the shed. And a few months after building this ramp, I gotta say I'm really pleased with it. It's really solid and I know it's gonna be here a long time. The grass has grown in and the deck boards have dried out forming the spaces in between. I hope this video helps you with your ramp build Thanks for watching.